Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, bringing you the news happening in the world right now. Hello everyone, we start today's show on a sad and horrifying note. This morning at 9.35 a.m. at the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut, a 25-year-old man opened fire in the principal's office, then proceeded to move to the classroom of his mother, a teacher. A man on the scene said his younger sister, who was attending the school, first became aware of the situation when she heard bullets and screams coming through the intercoms in the building. At the time of recording this, it's believed 20 children and 6 adults were killed when the gunman stormed into the classroom and began shooting, though the exact numbers are yet to be released. This is being called the worst school shooting in American history. It's such a tragic thing to talk about. So many young lives lost to a random act of violence. In a press conference earlier this afternoon, the state police had said that they were not releasing the official fatality numbers until the family members had been informed. But he reassured residents that the school was secure and the danger had passed. He went on to say that the gunman was dead, his body was discovered in the classroom along with two weapons. It's unclear at this time if the police were responsible for taking the man down or if he took his own life after committing this devastating act. Government officials were horrified to hear about the event and President Barack Obama took to a live press conference to talk about the shooting. You can find a link to that in the description below. This school shooting could pass the 2007 Virginia Tech shooting that left 32 people dead and the 1999 Columbine High shooting in Littleton, Colorado where two students shot and killed 13 people before taking their own lives. The one thing that puts this school shooting on its own level is the age of the kids involved. Being in elementary school, the kids were so young. Young. My heart goes out to all the poor families dealing with this today. I can only imagine the loss that they're feeling. How only this morning they probably dropped their kids off to have a good day at school, then to find out that something like this had happened. It would be beyond devastating, something that will forever change their lives. Again, I've posted many articles in the description below if you're interested in reading them, because information is still streaming in about the event. It's hard to move on from a story like that, especially here on now, since traditionally we don't talk about those things. So from that unfortunate news to some unfortunate news right here on YouTube. Machinima, the popular gaming network, has laid off part of their staff today. According to a Machinima rep, they are undergoing a reorganization to address its global growth, and this process unfortunately resulted in layoffs. Less than 10% of Machinima's workforce was affected. Also, as part of the restructure, Machinima is hiring across key divisions, including sales, marketing, and product. Many ex-employees soon took to Twitter to announce that they had been cut from the company, but the company editor-in-chief, Rob Smith, told Joystick.com that 23 of the company's 200 staff were laid off today. The majority of those people were from the editorial department. So we'll just have to see in the future how this affects the content produced by Machinima. From a gaming network to one game in general, The Sims 3. Surprise! surprise. On Wednesday's episode of Now, I talked about a leak of The Sims 3 University on Amazon.ca, and I talked that EA would probably be making an announcement sometime in the new year. Well, it seems that date has been set. EA will be hosting a big live broadcast on January 8th, 2013. According to their Facebook page, they will be going over a bunch of new content for the 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff pack, and also announcing something big. What could that possibly be? Well, it's kind of obvious the EA will be announcing University, at least it's like a 98% chance that they will, and since they announced it on that day, that means that the actual release of the expansion pack will happen soon after. My guess would be probably in late January or February. Also, EA has updated the Greenhouse pack for The Sims 3 Exchange, so it works properly in all seasons. No longer will the snow go through your glass roof. You can, of course, pick up the greenhouse pack on the Sims 3 store, and if you're interested in learning more about the live stream, check out their Facebook page, link in the description below. The last topic I wanted to talk about today is Google's self-driving car. You probably have already heard about it, and I may have already talked about it in past episodes of the show, I just can't remember, but anyways, to bring you up to speed, Google has developed, built, and is testing a self-driving car. Basically, you just get in it, put in your destination, and the car will bring you there. No driver necessary. It's kind of crazy to think about it, and it's really cool, and I'm totally all for it. Mind you, it probably wouldn't do too well driving in Canada in the winter. It might be like a summer-only thing in Canada. Anyway, that's not why I wanted to talk about it today. The reason it's in the news is because a large controversy is beginning to arise around the cars, and that controversy is the law that will govern them. Not the law about owning them or using them. Many governments actually feel very positive about them and how they could actually help lower the number of accidents each year. The problem is what happens when there's an accident with one of these cars? Who's at fault? If this car is the cause of the car accident, then the owner of the car is at fault or what? Because last time I 
checked, you can't really hold a computer responsible for something that happens. They are machines after all. Machines are designed by humans, so this makes you think maybe it should be the manufacturer. But if that's the case, you might as well shut the whole thing down, because no company is going to create a self-driving car if they're liable when it malfunctions. It's an interesting turn as we as society and species continue to push forward to the future where computers have more and more control. If this car does hurt someone, would this be like a mechanical failure? kind of an interesting thing to think about. So I was going to ask you what your opinion was about the matter, but I decided that instead of asking you all a question, I would do something else. Based on the lead story of today, I simply wanted to remind everyone to take the time today. Let the people you love know that you actually love them. Contact them in some way because you never really know when they'll be gone. I have to say that I love each and every person who watches my videos. It's because of you and the others like you that I get to do what I do. And I remind myself of this every single day. I get to do this and interact with thousands of people around the world every day, and that's special. And on that note, I just wanted to end by stating that I will not be producing episodes of Now for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be spending that time working on some other projects, along with spending that time with the people I love over the holidays. So don't forget, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.